Hi everyone, it me, Drift again. Um, I want to wish you a happy Tuesday, and I figured I'd do something a little different this time. I figured I'd show you guys my manga collection. I used to collect manga quite a bit when I was a kid, and I have not read all of the stuff yet. But I figured I'd go through and show you some of my more favorite ones that I have read and liked. And maybe give you a little bit of a brief description about them. Alright, well the first one that I that I'd like to go to in Anjumar Jadayo. That's a really good... It's a decent... Uh, what the one? Oh yeah, it's a, high, it's a high school anime. Um, it's about this group of teenagers and Chiyo-chan, who is a child prodigy. And it's simply more or less about them trying to work through and get through high school life with their wacky adventures, going on trips and different things. And just the the group of them building a relationship together and just building their friendship. And it's really nice. I like the anime and the manga. Um, as you can see, I only have volume 1 and 2 of it. I don't remember how many there are. I think there's 4. I need, I'm missing 2 and 4. We got Dance and the Vampire Buns, which I have not personally read yet. It many of my friends are very they like it a lot and they highly suggested it to me and that's why I went and got I'm one through five of it. I have not read it yet, but I hear it's really good. And so I'm gonna try and get into that soon. And after that, we got King of Hell. I have volume 1 through almost through 10. I'm missing volume 9. This is the bold volume of 1 through 3. King of Hell is a very good anime, in my opinion. And, well, uh, actually, I'm not sure if it is an anime. It's a really good manga, though. Made by Tokyo Pop. Tokyo Pop was good. I think it's called a printer or a producer. And they made a lot of, a lot of really good stuff. King of Hellwood, very much about this one guy I'd seen here, who was a very powerful man who, I don't, I think it was like a Grim Reaper of sorts, but he was so powerful they had to lock away his actual body and such, and put him in a weaker one like this. And it's about him running errands for the King of Hell. And I think he tried to reach it himself at one point. That right. And it's also about him trying to get back his regular body. And it's a really fun action. Rather comedic. Comedic. Action anime. which Or manga. I don't know why I keep playing anime. I normally deal with anime, not manga. Uh, so, that's that. We got Redo here, which I have not seen yet. But I got the out of an Akibento. But it's an Akibento exclusive. And with my thing of focus right there, you can see it. And it seems to be about a guy who was living reg everyday life until he was thrust into like a fantasy like world. And he needs to try and figure out how to get home and how to survive in this type of thing. And it ca seems kind of cliche, but it, I hear it's pretty good. And what I read of it, it was pretty good. Okay, we got Rosario Vampire. I've only seen the anime of this, and I've read a little bit of the manga. It, the anime's really good, albeit a little etchy as well, though. It's definitely kind of mature for that reason. And it is very much about Kune Aono, who is a regular human, but his dad gets him a scholarship into a high school for monsters and it's like a monster only high school so he has to try to live everyday life in a dorm without people finding out he's human and trying to not get eaten um and it really kind of got really good plot and it's good i like it dr slump 
Dr. Flump is really good. It was made by Atira Toriyama, which is the author of Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball, etc. This came out before Dragon Ball, the Dragon Ball series, actually. And it's about Dr. Slump, who made a android named Areli, which is her. She is very much extremely strong and it's pre a pretty wacky, pretty wacky anime and manga. I really like it. Kind of fun. We got Sunshine Stretch. I've only got one volume of it, but it's one of my favorite series. It was one of my first manga, actually. And it's about the girl who set out into the world trying to go and learn at an art school, learning how to draw different things, and it's really kind of neat. I like it a lot. Okay. I don't think I missed any. Oh, yeah, I think I did miss one. Um, Dojin work. This is a really, rather a short manga and anime. Um, it only had, like, one season, but it's about the teenage girl who finds out her friend, right, Dojinshi, Donishi, Dojin, and she wants to try and do it, too, and it's about her learning how to draw and increasing her friendship with that one friend, and it's really kind of wacky, she gets a rival, and get introduced into the Dojin community. It's really, really kind of funny, wacky, and I enjoy it. It's really good anime and manga, albeit very short. As you can see, it's only gotten four, it's only got four volumes, and each volume is rather thin. But I like it a lot. I wish I had some Hunter Hunter volume, but sadly I don't. I haven't been able to find some yet. Well, I have found some, but they're normally pretty pricey. So, that's that. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know I didn't go over everyone. I used to collect a lot of manga and anime. Um, and I got a lot of the stuff out of just bots and random loot bots, and if you will. Manga bots and there's something. I'm not sure what you called them. Manga lot, not what it was. And I have a lot of different, like, odd and end ones. Like, these are Japanese. Uh, along with this one. I got some like odd volume, like 15, 15 and 13, so obviously I haven't read those yet. Um, but I like, I like my small little collection, be it as small as it is. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it if you could subscribe, like this video, share with your friends. And if you enjoy my content, push that little notification bell to where you can get notified if I upload another video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.